Syria's Assad regime has passed its first test. It has met the deadline to submit its initial arms inventory to the International Chemical Weapons Watchdog. But it is still a long way to go in the process of destroying the country's chemical arsenal. Our Jessica Murphy is tracking this story for us and joins us this morning from Ottawa with more details. So Jessica, what do we know about the list from Syria? Well, this is uh, very much a, a, a just information now that the uh, the OPCW, that's the Hague's Chemical Weapons Agency, essentially uh, has just received this information. It's one week exactly to the day uh, of this disarmament deal that was uh, come to by Russia and the U.S. in Geneva, calling on Syria to destroy all of its chemical weapons. As you noted, Sneha, it is uh, that first deadline that had to be met by Bashar al Assad's regime. It has been met, and now the matter is looking to see how comprehensive that list is. Uh, according to estimates from intelligence agencies and so on, Syria has roughly a thousand metric tons of chemical weapons to give you an idea that's two million pounds or so they need to give over information to the OPCW things like the names and quantities of the chemical weapons the types of munitions that they have and finally where how uh, those weapons are developed how they're stored how they're produced so all that information is supposed to be in the hands of the OPCW as I said they are reviewing that submission as are uh, Russia and the US here's a uh, US State Department spokeswoman Marie Harf we have a document now that we didn't have yesterday uh, at the OPCW, and we'll be taking a look at it and making an assessment. Now, uh, Sneha, according to uh, sources who spoke to the New York Times yesterday, uh, the U.S. so far, having taken a very initial look at this list, says that they, they are pretty satisfied at how, how comprehensive it does seem to be. All right, so this is step one in what is expected to be a rather lengthy process. So what's next, Jessica? Well, that is that it's step one. This is uh, a, a very, very ambitious uh, timeline that was set out by Russia, by the U.S. So what we have this reviewing process going on right now uh, in The Hague. Uh, now that agency does have to uh, review now a proposal by Russia and the U.S. on verifying and destroying these weapons. They were supposed to meet on Sunday tomorrow uh, to discuss that. That meeting has actually been bumped to the middle of the week. No reason was given, but it is still scheduled. Uh, this is also a process going through the U.N. Security Council. All the uh, five permanent members of the Security Council are looking at their own resolution, negotiating their own resolution that's supposed to back up this one uh, by the by the uh, by this agency. Uh, Secretary of State John Kerry saying he hoped that would be adopted by the middle of next week. Uh, and we do have uh, inspectors who are supposed to be on the ground in Syria shortly. Really, they're supposed to have completed their initial work by the end of November. And of course, the ultimate goal is to have destroyed uh, all of these weapons, to have moved them from the hands of the regime by the middle of next year. So, yeah. All right, an ambitious timeline for sure, but uh, plenty to track going forward. Thank you very much, Jessica. You're welcome. That is Jessica Murphy joining us from our Ottawa Bureau.